Okay, guys. Some of you uh, may be having trouble getting the click up here, the button up here for Marketplace. And uh, I was loading up uh, Sisters, uh, starting her uh, Facebook page. And it didn't show Marketplace. And I did a lot of studying and reviews, reading and everything. And I want to show you what I learned and what you need to do to get Marketplace to show up up here at the top. I am trying to get Marketplace to show up here on Sister's page. It shows up on mine. She just started an account today and uh, it isn't there. So I did a little reading here. Somewheres. Okay, what I'd run across anyhow is I didn't find very much. I'd found a, uh, a click to where I could go to Marketplace, and then I got this page here, which means that basically hadn't been invited into the group. They don't know if they can trust you. They don't know who you are yet. So you got to verify, and to verify what you do is you go over to this arrow here. You click, and you go down to Settings. And then, okay, here's what we do. We go up to general. We click on this one right here, I believe. Click view. Okay, and this page finally shows up. I believe we click here. Run ad related. Yeah. Tony, yeah. This ID must be a U.S. passport, driver's license or state ID. We might also ask you some questions to help ensure the ID belongs to you. We need to make sure that you're based in the U.S. We'll do this by checking your information and activity on Facebook and asking for a residential mailing address. Before your identity can be confirmed, you'll be asked to turn on two-factor authentication. This adds additional security to your account when you log in. Okay, as you can tell, marketplaces just want to be real careful about who you are uh, getting on there and stuff, and you can't blame them. That's why it wasn't showing up. So I let's just get started. We'll ask for your password and then a login code anytime we notice an unusual login. Choose a security method. We'll send a text message with a login code, or you can use a security app of. Alright. Okay, that's what they're trying to do is just verify the information. They're going to send me a text here once I click next. And then I'm going to have a number that I got to enter, but but most likely that's why she does not see the uh, marketplace up here. She was verified enough to get in here, and if, anyhow, if you, if you're not verified, that's what you got to do. You got to go through all them steps I showed you to get over here. And I click next. See, it's it's doing it right now. Okay, let's give it a try. Nope. And oh.
Yeah, we're still recording. Confirm. Your mailing address. Now I got to do a mailing address. Okay, no problem. Or the, did I misspell it? I hope it's got spell check. Ah, oh, it's good to me. It's good to me. What goes down here? Is that where city goes? Apparently, city's got to go down there. Wants it capital. Wants it everything done. Oh, city went in the wrong one. Let me copy. Put it down here. State. There it is. Okay, are we still recording? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And let's go over here and let's click send. See if there's a verified for. The address you enter must be residential, in the U.S. and somewhere that you can access mail. We can't accept P.O. boxes. We'll send a letter to this address containing a link and a confirmation code to enter online. You should receive the letter within three to seven days. They're not letting me go any further. The personal ID, I can't make it over yet. I gotta wait for that letter to come in the mail. Oh, snail mail. Your phone number when setting up two-factor authentication, you can choose to provide a phone number. This will be used to send you codes when you are logging in from a device we don't recognize. You can also use it to reset your password if you ever need to, find friends and more. Only you will see this number. If you don't want to use a phone number, you can use a third-party authentication app instead. Your primary country location we check your primary country location to confirm your country. If we ask for a mailing address, we'll delete it within 30 days after we've confirmed your identity. Guys, that's that's it. That's as far as I can go, as far as I can take you until that comes in the mail to this. But, uh, yeah, I guess I'll get something, a notification or something. They'll let me know where I can get to the next step. But it's just affirming who you are. That's what they're wanting to do. That's it. Talk to you later. Bye.